this weekend post creating a saved print in Lightroom. Hey everybody, I'm Scott Davenport. Welcome to InPost. Today, a little bit different and not doing post processing per se, but certainly an activity that is well after we've done our field work, printing. So I've been doing a bunch of printing recently and uh, primarily as archive prints. So I'm, uh, I'm trying to kind of get my uh, disaster recovery plans in order. And I do offsite storage of all of my digital files, but what I realized I didn't do is I didn't make some basic prints of some of my favorite images. And I wanna get that done and put those in a safe place as well. So I've been going through my library and printing out eight by tens, just something that if the worst of the worst were to happen, I would still have some tangible print of some of my favorite photos. And what I found to be very useful in Lightroom is this thing called a saved print. And so let me show you how it works and why I'm using this. So uh, I've got this photo here. This happens to be the next one up in my queue to go and work on. And I've brought it into the print module, you can see here. And normally I'm using the zoom to fill because I like to fill the entire page that I'm working with. And so I'm doing eight by tens, but I'm shooting in like a two by three or a four by six, you know, uh, uh, what's called aspect ratio. That's the word I'm looking for. I, I would lose information. And so if I, uh, I zoom in, I, I miss something. And so I play the game of, deciding where do I want to position this in the frame for the print and you know for this one probably somewhere you know somewhere around here or something like that this is roughly on a third and I've got some nice lead in from the uh, the concrete walkway there now I'm kind of a fun fundamentally I'm doing a crop here now I don't want to go and create a virtual copy and then crop that to 8 by 10 and use that for my print because that kind of just makes some clutter in my catalog in Lightroom. So there's this neat little thing up at the top here called Create Saved Print. And so in addition to this, I'll go and make sure I've selected, in case I'm printing on Polar Pearl from Red River Paper, that sets all my other profile items. I can click Create a Saved Print. And what would I call this thing? I would call this the Yikinga Lighthouse. And I can put this inside some type of collection. These are just collections like anything else, eight by tens, and I have a bunch of them down here, which I can't scroll right now because I've got this window open. I'll go ahead and create that. Now what that does is it creates this print um, object, you know, this print version of this photo. And what it does is it saves all of the information that's in the print module, all the different settings in our right panel, as well as the crop. So later on, if I go back into this, it's going to remember how did you print this, where the crop was, what your settings were. I could certainly go and change all this type of stuff here if I wanted to, but what I like is it just remembers the crop. So if I get the print that I like, I can just go ahead and print it again and again and again, and I'm not having to make virtual copies and I'm not having to uh, you know, do anything remembering exactly how I cropped it and so forth. So it's a nice little feature. And if you couldn't guess, that is the tip of the week, creating saved prints in Lightroom. Uh, I wished I'd discovered that button earlier and spent the time to figure out what it meant as it would have saved me some clutter in my catalog, which maybe I'll go back and take care of. Maybe I won't, but for the future, I'll definitely be using this feature and collecting all of my print objects in a new collection. So whenever I need to reprint something, it's just ready to go. And it's a couple of clicks and it's off to the printer. And that'll wrap it up for this week's InPost. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. If you got some other tips about printing, that's something I don't do very much of, so I'm certainly interested to hear what your print experiences are uh, with everything from paper to color profiles to all that sorts of stuff, because uh, it's kind of a new world to me. I've got a system that seems to work, but my experience is limited in this space. So if you're printing a lot, reach out. Let me know how you do it. I'd love to hear about it. Until next time, my name's Scott Davenport, and happy shooting.